Yep, I am sending the original Teen Titans instead of Teen Titans Go. I want to do something different, and I want to see if the original series is sinful. Remember, there is no show without sin. Why were these guards outside the prison? On the previous shot, the blast is from the front gate. So where have these guys been? What's with these big number badges? Is the prison care to know what number each guard is? Do I really want to know why they're numbered? As soon as Cinderblock caused an earthquake stomp, the guards did nothing. Just stand there and shoot with no reaction. You know, Cinderblock, normally the bad guys break out of jail. And I can think of five good reasons why you don't want to break in. What are those five reasons? Is the five reasons supposed to represent the Titans? Because those are not good reasons. Titans, go! Two words in the first one and a half minute of the series that will become an annoying gag in its reboot. One minute of intro. But at least the theme song is good. If Beast Boy can turn into a dinosaur, why did he do that instead of turning into a f***ing bird? I really don't know why, but I want to send Robin's line here. Now there's an idea. To rip off expensive prison structures so you can play hammers with Cinderblock? <laughs> Seriously? Wow! One mistake that not only hurt Robin and Cyborg, but the whole team? Based on this, either Cinderblock punch through single-lined walls, meaning he has to do a lot of punching, or prison cells rooms are very wide. This doesn't wake up Plasmus. You were too far forward, and Cinderblock got away because of it. You saying this is my fault? Want me to say it again? Yelling. No more mean talking. Yeah, if you two are gonna fight, we need time to sell tickets. What the guy said when he wanted to make Batman v Superman. I seriously don't get the point of this argument. Was there a point where these two despise each other? Because I don't see that. I don't even know why you're on this team. That makes two of us. I quit. Wow, Cyborg quit? On the first episode? What can we do without him? Also, I feel that this episode should have been somewhere later as the series progressed. Maybe around episode 6 or 12. But there is no reason for these two to hate each other that led one of them to quit the team other than that one duo f*** up they've done a moment ago. We interrupt Teen Titans to give you gears. Mysterious evil person is so deathstruck, I mean Slade, that a light reflection tells that it's Slade. I get that this is the Titan's Tower, but why is it shaped as a T? Do you really want to be that obvious? What is that? Pudding of sadness. It is what the people of my planet eat when bad things happen. So your people eat gross food that even you find disgusting? In a split second, the screen raven cracks disappears. Seriously, I'm already getting bored of Cyborg being gone. I didn't even know he was part of the team. In fact, I really don't know why him being gone would make an impact in the first place. Yes! New high score! If your new high score is 5 million and Cyborg's was 1 million, I think you've done a bit more to try and beat a high score. Cyborg lives in the Titan's Tower? Does that mean while quitting he has to go somewhere else? I think Cyborg didn't thought of this through. Is this Slade's plan? To make Plasmus eat goo so he can be big? There's no benefit for this. Huh? Does Beast Boy have increased speed to make that many kicks as a pterodactyl? And stretchy powers to make the legs long enough to kick Plasmus? Yeah, attack the monster that was drinking the thing that makes him stronger with the thing that makes him stronger. Somehow Slade has a broadcast feed on Plasmus, but where is camera? Cinderblock, begin phase three. And we'll never know what Cinderblock did in phase three. Seriously, he gets caught the next time we see him. Maybe the best way to take you down is to tie you up. Tie up something that looks like Clayface? Yeah, that'll work. Isn't Plasmus one guy? Now there's multiple creatures that has their own thinking? How would this work? His face. 
Cyborg Ex Machia, the worst Ex Machia ever. Seriously, there is no reason for Cyborg to be here. He quit the team, didn't know about the Plasmus problem, and is completely unaware that the team is in peril or where they are. Not to mention that he wouldn't know that Robin would have fall to his death if he wasn't there. This was such a sudden, illogical twist that is only there so Cyborg can save the day and rejoin back to the team. Five sins because of this. Goo that makes Plasmus strong suddenly melts Plasmus. Also, isn't this part of Plasmus, you know, part of him? Would that mean a part of his human form would be gone? Teen Titans Go! One Sonic Boom gets Plasmus into his human form and gets him to sleep. Thought I'd bring a present, in case you were still mad. Okay, how did Cyborg know about Cinderblock? And how did he manage to beat him on his own and have enough time to save the Titans from Plasmus? Next time, my plans will succeed, and the Titans will pay. Well, maybe think of a smarter plan next time. Also, episode ends with the villain saying, I'll get you next time, cliche.